We can show the stages of a skydiver reaching terminal velocity and deploying a parachute on a velocity time graph. Remember that terminal velocity is the constant speed an object will eventually reach when air resistance balances weight. For your exam, you'll need to be able to interpret velocity time graphs for a variety of falling objects. We'll focus on a skydiver here, as it has all of the components of other graphs you might encounter in this topic. Make sure you can understand why each part of the graph looks the way it does, so you can apply this knowledge to other examples. First of all, we'll set up our axes. A velocity time graph has time on the x-axis and velocity on the y-axis. We'll use this graph to show how velocity changes over time. Now let's look at the different parts of the graph and the shapes they'll have. First, the skydiver initially accelerates downward. This is because their weight is greater than air resistance, so there is a downward acceleration, which we'll represent with a double arrow, and hence the velocity is increasing. Since the velocity is increasing, we'll want to draw the graph with a positive gradient, but remember that air resistance increases as speed increases. So the acceleration, and hence the gradient, decreases over time. Overall, we'll want to draw a curve like this, where the velocity levels out, which brings us to the next part of the graph. The skydiver then travels at constant terminal velocity. When the air resistance increases to the point where it balances the weight, the skydiver no longer has a downward acceleration. This means that the velocity will be constant. Remember that on a velocity time graph, we show this by drawing a horizontal line so that the y value isn't changing. If we were only looking at a simple terminal velocity example, like dropping a coin from a height, we could finish drawing the graph here. But for the example of a skydiver, we can continue with some more details for when a parachute is used. When the parachute is deployed, the skydiver decelerates quickly. The parachute will greatly increase the skydiver's air resistance, causing them to gain an upward resultant force. As the acceleration is pointing upward, opposite to their motion, their velocity must be decreasing. So we want to draw another curve, but this time with a negative gradient, and again we'll want it to level off as the forces become balanced again. So it will look something like this. Notice that this curve is much steeper to reflect the sudden change in forces opening the parachute has caused. The fact that the curve is levelling off probably makes it easier to guess what comes next. The skydiver then reaches a new, lower terminal velocity. Eventually, the air resistance will decrease to the point where it balances the weight again, so there's no longer any acceleration and the velocity will be constant. So we draw another horizontal line, this time much lower than the terminal velocity we had before. We'd also get this shape for other examples where there's a sudden change in the forces, like a coin falling from air into a glass of water. There's one more thing we can add to this skydiver example though. When the skydiver lands, they almost instantly come to a stop. Coming into contact with the ground means there'll be a strong upward reaction force. This causes a huge upward acceleration, which means the skydiver is suddenly brought to rest. We use the parachute to ensure there isn't too great a change in speed when this happens, by having the final terminal velocity as low as possible. So on the graph, we draw this as a straight line from the end of our last section to the x-axis, where the velocity is zero. Since the change in speed is so sudden, this line is nearly vertical. Now you won't be expected to draw a graph like this one from scratch in an exam, though you could be asked to complete missing sections of it from a description. What you'll more likely be tested on though is interpreting what each part of the graph tells you about the motion of a given falling object. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. 
To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Physics course. See you there!